All right, in this video, I will discuss about 2019 paper 2 to October November for additional mathematics, which is exam code 0606, question number A. All right, so this kind of vector question is not so common for uh, MF student, but yeah, it is not very difficult, but if you understand, it should be quite easy. Okay, so a particle's A travel with a speed 6.5. In the direction of negative 5, negative 12, find the velocity of A. Or they use VA to represent velocity of A. Okay, over here you need to have some idea about what is direction. Okay, direction is kind of the ratio to help you to find the velocity. Okay, what do I mean is like this. So the direction negative 5 is roughly like this, negative 5, going this direction, isn't it? And then negative 12 is going down, negative 12. All right, so then if we learn about Pythagoras, we know this is, in order to find a hypotenuse, it's like five square, negative five square, and plus negative 12 square, which you will get 13. All right, your hypotenuse, which is your, in this case, we call magnitudes, we call magnitudes. So this one should be your speed. Okay, should be your speed. But in the real life, your speed is actually 6.5, isn't it? Your speed is 6.5. Now you need to think how to get from 13 to 6.5. Yeah, if you are good in math, you know basically it's divide two or you multiply half in it. So therefore, how do I get the velocity? Is I need to multiply half for every single one. I multiply half for my i here, which is negative five over two i. And then I will multiply half for my negative 12 here, which is negative uh, 6j. Yeah, this is how I get my velocity. Of course, if you want sort of the formula, you can also do something like this. Uh, velocity will equals to the u unit vector, unit vector of direction. And then you multiply with the speed. Okay, this one you kind of need to know what is unit vector. Like unit vector of a here, is basically vector a over magnitude of a, isn't it? This is a unit vector formula. So I have the direction, which is this one, right? So unit vector of direction is will be vector of direction over magnitude of direction, which is uh, negative five square plus negative 12 square. And then multiply with speed 6.5. So this one we already do, which is 13. So the whole thing here will give you 13 if you type in the calculator. And then 13 and 6.5 simplify, I get two here. Then I expand them. I, I mean, I solve this fraction. It's negative five over two i minus six j. You're still getting back the same result. Just depend you want to draw out the triangle or you just use the formula here. All right, then we go to the part two here. So the part two, they says uh, particle A travel with the velocity of B is 12i minus 9j. They ask you to find the speed of B. So you just need to understand the speed basically is the magnitude of V. When in vector topic, we call magnitude basically used by Tigerus. So that means it's square root of 12 square plus negative 9 square. Then you get the speed is 15 by doing the Pythagoras. All right, then we go to the uh, next part. Okay, particle A start moving from the point with a position vector. So position vectors of A, we call OA. Okay, is basically is 20, negative seven. Yeah, I just want to tell you, uh, you can always write in the column vector because like column vector for this one, velocity of B is just 12 and nine, negative nine. Because sometimes quite lazy to write, I and J, I can just show them in a column vector. So like, uh, velocity of a here if I don't write in a column vector maybe I write negative 2.5 and negative 6 so so that I no need to write i and j so I can always write like this okay can save me some time all right then and at the same time the particle b start moving from up the point with the position vector of so ob is basically negative 67 11 so whenever I read like position vector, so I will always start with O. Unless the question say the position vector from A, then it's sort of need to start with A. Okay, but most of the time we just start with O. All right, then they ask you to find RA, the position vector of A, 
after t second and rb position vector of b after t second okay what does it means is like they want to know like are uh, how the particle a travel and how the particle b travel so and then they say position vector of a after t second means you kind of need to use the position vector okay so it have a formula for for uh, for the r which is so r normally i will call it as the uh, new help you to find a new position vector so you have a formula like r a equals to a plus v t this is the formula okay so so the r here is to help you to find a new position vector a will be your initial position vector which is in this case will be just oa i just need to sub the oa into here v over here will be your position uh it will be your varsity of a so v will be your varsity of a okay so i just plug everything in so my oa is 20 negative 7 my varsity of a is over here which is negative 2.5 negative 6 and my time is just t because they want us to solve this one after t seconds so that means i can leave the t here to uh, for me to substitute my time in the future so i can sub the time equals to 3 here to find my new position vector i can sub my time equals to 10 here to find my new position vector but normally i will just write them nicely so ra equals to 20 minus 2.5 t minus 7 minus 60 okay this is what i will do so if you understand about this formula so they asked us to do the rb right so i will do the same thing i will insert the initial position vector of b and then and then i will insert the varsity of b which is over here 12 negative 9 and then put a t here and then i will write nicely so it's negative uh, 67 plus 12 t and 11 minus 90 right this is how easy we can get one mark from each of if of course if you understand you can straight away write out the answer because it's just one mark for each but over here because i need to explain so i kind of do more work for the one mark okay okay then uh, lastly they ask us to find a time when the particle will collide and then the position vector of the point of the collision so basically okay when they when the particular want to collide right basically means they're going to meet each other meet each other means what meet or sometimes is about the collide it means what it mean they must be at the same position vector at the same time just now i say position vector we use r to represent right that's mean r a must be equals to r b we can use this one if and only if the t value is the same t value if the t value is not the same t value we kind of cannot do uh, this equation okay so okay so what we do is we just substitute in 20 minus 2.5 t minus 7 negative 7 t equals to rb negative 67 plus 12 t 11 minus 90 okay so yeah this center is very max sense one let's say today i say i want to meet you at the shopping mall that's mean both of us must reach the shopping mall at the, must reach at the same shopping mall at the same time then only you can meet each other right so therefore must be same position vector and at the same t value okay so then we just use take either one we can solve the i or j in order to get the t value is quite easy Let, let's say i choose the first uh, first equation i mean we solve the i here negative 67 plus 12 t so i will have 14.5 t by solving these two and then this one will be 87 then we divide 87 divide 14.5 we should be able to get six okay so after that what you need to do is they also ask us to find a position vector also right so in order to get the r value what we need to do is just you sub the t, t equals to 6 into either one this one or this one so let's say i sub in the first one minus 12.5 6 and negative 7 minus 6 6 
Alright, then we just type into the calculator, we should be able to get the answer quite easily. So this one will be 5, this one will be negative 43. Alright, this one will be my position vector of, if you want to write in i and j, you always can write like 5i minus 43j. Alright, this is how you get the three mark. So this kind of question, I will not say it's a very hard question, but there's a lot of things you need to understand and sort of memorize in order to do this kind of question easily. Anyways, I hope this short video do able to help you understand better about this topic. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.